One strategy for graphing tangent is to locate where its asymptotes are and then use the properties of the tangent graph to come up with a rough sketch of it. And so that's the strategy that I'm going to use to graph y equals the tangent of 2x plus 1. The asymptotes for tangent are equal to x equals pi over 2 plus n pi. So in this particular equation, we don't have an x, we have a 2x, so 2x is equal to pi over 2 plus n pi, which means that x would be equal to, divide every term by 2, this would be pi over 4 plus n pi over 2. So that's where my asymptotes are going to fall for this particular graph. So we could make a little chart. n is an integer. Substitute values in for n, and we can see where our asymptote ends up to fall. So for example, if we were to let n be 0, then we would have pi over 4 plus 0 times pi over 2, which is 0. So our asymptote would end up to be at pi over 4. If we were to let n be 1, then we would have pi over 4 plus pi over 2, which would be equal to, if we got a common denominator of 4, uh, pi over 4 plus pi over 2, make this a common denominator of 4, that would be 2 pi over 4, so we would end up with 3 pi over 4. If we were to let n be 2, we would have pi over 4 plus 2 times pi over 2, which is just pi. So pi over 4 plus pi would be equal to 5 pi over 4. It's always a good idea to find at least three asymptotes to make sure that they're really equally spaced apart. Pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, those are equally spaced apart. So since I know those, I should be able to come up with all the asymptotes. So let's go mark our graph. 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi are our normal places. And so halfway in between 0 and pi over 2 would be pi over 4, and that's where we have an asymptote. We also have an asymptote at 3 pi over 4, which would be right in between pi over 2 and pi. We have an asymptote at 5 pi over 4, which would fall in between pi and 3 pi over 2. And continuing out this same pattern, we would have an asymptote at 7 pi over 4. I guess we could go back and write these in so you can see where they come from. And so that's where our asymptotes for this particular graph fall. Now this is a tangent. Tangent is an always increasing function. And normally, uh, in between the asymptotes, the tangent is equal to 0. But this particular tangent has a vertical shift of 1. So in between my asymptotes, my tangent graph is going to be up at 1. Um, halfway in between this uh, pivotal point and the asymptote, it's always up 1 or down 1. So using that as a guide... I can come up with a sketch of what my tangent graph looks like. And I could continue this on out on this side as well, and on this side as well. And there's the graph of y equals the tangent of 2x plus 1.